Welcome to our channel. We'll talk about a modest plant that's frequently overlooked, yet it carries a rich medicinal history, the shepherd's purse. But before we start, be sure to press that like button and subscribe for more videos and herb insights. Shepherd's purse, or Capsella bursa pastoris, is an annual herb that hails from Eastern Europe and Asia Minor, but it's found its way across the globe. As part of the Brassicaceae family, this plant has tiny white flowers and unique heart-shaped seed pods. They're reminiscent of an old-fashioned purse or bag. Thus, the charming name, Shepherd's Purse. It's also known as Blindweed, Cocoa Wart, Lady's Purse, Mother's Heart, Shepherd's Heart, St. James Weed, Witch's Pouch. Despite its humble appearance, this plant has been a cornerstone in traditional medicine for centuries, particularly in the realm of bleeding control and heart health, along with a variety of other uses. Shepherd's Purse is a storied herb for controlling bleeding. It has been used for everything from nosebleeds to heavy menstrual bleeding, even wound healing during war. This herb also supports heart health. It has been traditionally used for treating conditions like high blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. Thanks to its astringent properties, Shepherd's Purse could be your ally for various digestive issues, such as diarrhea and hemorrhoids. Applied topically, Shepherd's Purse is known to aid in healing wounds and minor burns. So, how can you harness the power of this unsung hero? The leaves of Shepherd's Purse can be steeped in hot water to make a tea. You can also make a tincture by steeping the herb in alcohol. A poultice made from Shepherd's Purse can be applied to wounds to promote healing as well. Both the ancient Greeks and Romans recognized its medicinal potential, using it to stop bleeding. In traditional Chinese medicine, Shepherd's Purse is known as Ji Kai. It's used there to control bleeding and address postpartum issues. Once it came to North America, it was used by the colonists and Native Americans for diarrhea, dysentery, stomach cramps, worms, and as a food plant. The seeds have a peppery taste and were added to foods as a spice. The seeds were also roasted and ground into a meal for baking a Native American bread called panole. Colonists who let their cattle graze on shepherd's purse discovered that it gave their milk an off flavor. But chicken's eggs are fortified when the herb is given as forage. Midwives have used shepherd's purse for centuries to stimulate uterine contractions during active labor. Postpartum, it was used to aid in expelling the placenta and bringing the uterus back down to size and to decrease the lochia in the weeks following. Although we need more research to fully understand shepherd's purse medicinal properties, some studies have found it contains flavonoids and other compounds. These may have health benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Promising in vitro studies that have been done show that certain constituents of shepherd's purse have antioxidant and antibacterial activity. This study also concluded that the herb inhibited acetylcholinesterase, an important component of Alzheimer's disease, showing potential as an adjunct treatment for the disease. In one study, they evaluated the anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties of a sulforaphane-containing solution, SCS, isolated from shepherd's purse. SCS had significant anti-inflammatory activity indicated by the decreased levels of nitric oxide cytokines. Taken together, these data indicate that SCS has potential anti-inflammatory and anti-superbacterial properties, and thus, it can be used as a functional food or pharmaceutical. Growing shepherd's purse is quite straightforward. This hardy plant can thrive in various conditions, from cultivated fields to roadsides and waste areas. It prefers sunny spots and well-drained soils. It is sometimes considered a weed in agricultural areas. Though generally safe, shepherd's purse should be used with caution. Some people might experience allergic reactions. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid using shepherd's purse due to its potential to cause uterine contractions. Shepherd's purse may interact with a variety of medications. If you're taking any of the following medications, 
Consult your healthcare provider before taking it. Blood thinners, thyroid medications, sedatives, or sleep medications. Some alternatives may provide benefits similar to those of Shepherd's Purse, including ladies' mantle and yarrow. Still, as is the case with Shepherd's Purse, research on these supplements is limited. In conclusion, Shepherd's Purse has potent medicinal properties, aiding in bleeding control, heart health, and digestive issues. We need more scientific research to unlock its full potential, but the traditional uses of Shepherd's Purse provide us with an interesting window into the powerful world of herbal medicine. Was this your first time hearing about Shepherd's Purse? Let us know in the comments below and feel free to share your experiences with this herb. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing dives into the world of herbs. Until next time, happy herb exploring and stay healthy!